To make our thin and thick drips on our drippy cake, I am using a number one piping tube and a number three piping tube. I've already warmed up the Deco Magic metallic gold gel and I have put it into these piping bags with the tubes. I am piping down the side of the cake, doing a semicircle and piping up again. As you can see, I actually have the icing off the side of the cake. This is a technique I've seen online, which I find works best. So pipe down the side of the cake, but don't have the tube on the cake. Make sure you keep squeezing at the same time and then bring it back up, loop the icing onto the line you've just piped, do a semicircle and repeat. So over the edge, loop it onto itself, semicircle. And you just keep going around the cake like this. I have found that this gives the best drip result. That way you can do your thick and your thin drips. Unlike other icings that you drizzle over with a squeeze bottle, you cannot do that as easily with Drippy Magic because it is not as runny as the other icings as we want it to be bulbed at the bottom. You will find that you will get faster using this technique and when you do this technique, once it is completely dried, there are no joins where you're overlapping the icing. If you still want the lines thinner, then instead of doing the semicircle, don't overlap them. Just go down with the lines and then bring your stop piping with your icing and then go to the next line that you want and do your drips that way. You'll see from the video that it does still continue to move down the side of the cake once you have finished the drip. Now we're doing the top. I just squeeze any excess icing that I have over the top and using a palette knife, palette it over to the top to the edge of the cake so that the drips and the top are joined together. Continue to palette until you're happy with how the top looks and how it joins together with the drips at the side. This is how the drip should look on your cake with the icing on top and the drips bulbed at the bottom around the side. 15 minutes later and I'm able to touch the drips on the side of our cake. They're not tacky in any way, they're not uh, stringy, they're not pulling away from the cake, they're perfect. You can see that the Deco Magic Gel on top has start to smooth out and is nice and shiny as you want a gold to be. You can start adding your decorations if you want to or you can wait till the top is completely dry. I usually add the decorations when the gel is wet so that they stick to the cake. This drip has taken 15 minutes to do from start to finish once the gel was warm. No painting has been required to make this cake and I believe that using Drippy Magic is easier. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.